So we want to welcome you and those who are watching us online that we may get straight to the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's turn our Bibles in Psalms, Psalm 82, and verse number 6. Psalm 82, and verse number 6. The Bible said, I said, you are God's. And all of you are children of the Most High. Do you like this scripture? Can we read together? One, two, go. I say, you, you are, are God's. And all of you are children of the Master. Now look at verse number seven. It says, but you shall die like men. And fall like one of the princes. <laughs> do you like that? Church, I'm asking, do you like that? Job chapter 8. Verse number 7. <laughs> Though your beginning was small. Yet your latter end would increase abundantly. Hallelujah. Amen. And consider the things, uh, verse number eight, for inquire please of the former age. And consider the things discovered by their fathers. For we were born yesterday. And know nothing because our days on earth are a shadow. The writer is saying you need to ask from the fathers what happened before before you were, because you were just born yesterday hallelujah praise the name of the lord the title of my message this morning is your end shall be great I thought there were some spiritual men and women in this house. <laughs> I just said, your end shall be great. You know, we are going to preach in this house, my brother. I say your end shall be great. I know why you are not saying amen. Because where you are, there is no sign of greatness. But, but, but remember, I'm not talking about where you are now. My Bible says, better an end of a matter than the beginning. So I'm not talking of the beginning. I'm talking of something that is coming. You may not see it, but God has seen it and He reveals it through His Word. That though your beginning may be small, it may be full of many challenges to diminish the greatness in you. Sometimes you fear even standing before people. You fear sharing with people. When you look at what is around you. 
I pray for you today. I say I pray for you today. That the Lord will open your eyes. To see where God is expecting you to get into. And I say in the name of Jesus. Akisema atakubariki. Akuna atakaye zuia. He has a great plan for you. And he is not consulting your enemies. Somebody said somewhere. The people who hate you do not matter. It is those who love you who matter. So we are not consulting those who hate you. We are not consulting those who judge you by your present position. We bless the Lord that you are seeing something ahead of them. And he is revealing to us today. That though our beginning may be small. Hallelujah. Our end shall be great. And so I have a prophecy for all of you. Where you are today. Will be the lowest level of life. That you have ever been into. I don't care the car you are driving. One day you will imagine how you struggled to get it. And you will say the devil is a fool. Because God will have raised you to a higher level. I say where you are today shall become a history of your foundation because I can speak it in the spirit your end shall be great mama your end shall be great today you are troubled with those few children there sometimes you don't know what they are going to eat but hear me one day you'll be going to the airport with the same child you'll be going for graduation in the university with the same child you'll be going for a wedding of the same child who is receiving our report today I say in the name of Jesus your end shall be great it doesn't matter whether what this year has done to you when we get into ember months as in September, October, November, December the devil tries to put frustration in hearts of people the more we go to the end the more the agents wizards and sorcerers are mounting up their strategies to finish people's hopes but I stand as a voice of God and I announce to the enemy we are ending this year with a huge momentum I say with a huge momentum because better an end of a matter than the beginning of the same oh hallelujah I said hallelujah my teaching today is based on a young man story of a young man his name is Esau according to the word of God Esau was the firstborn let me tell you something it is not your choice even the choice of your parents for you to become a firstborn it is a privilege to be a firstborn is to be ahead of others 
maybe in the church membership maybe in entrepreneurship maybe in your family setup or the number of your birth you were the first one somehow you are ahead of some people somebody's found you somewhere according to Jewish culture to be born number one it was a huge privilege even during inheritance you were supposed to inherit more than your siblings let me tell us something firstborns get tough experiences the firstborns of this ministry they went through a lot they sacrificed a lot and so they 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 have privileges also before the lord if it is in family setup those who were born first they don't get privileges of joy and the pampering like the other children is it true you don't enjoy like the others but let me tell you something according to the word of God the benefits also are huge it is the firstborn that bears the name of the father the firstborn can represent the whole family the firstborn can take care of the mother they are born with tough attitude they can survive according to Genesis 49 for the, the firstborn is the sign of strength of the parents they usually resemble the father they have a lot of a lot of energy they have a lot of courage they can venture in tough places listen to me fast boys even though God has a plan for you if you don't consider your fathers if you are not careful you end up like your brothers you end up like mere men the word of God says that you are children of the most high and you are gods but verse number 7 says but you will die like the other sons like the other princess hear me this morning I refuse to die like the other children of God I choose to die like a firstborn like somebody honorable like somebody who is counted to be great listen to the end results of a Esau for not doing anything to the promises of God those who have been with us for some time I know you will always hear the word of God upon your life but if you do nothing about it it will just be a good preaching some of you are firstborns but if you do nothing it will mean nothing to your life I charge you in the name of the Lord a season is coming and now it is when you can no longer sleep on your privileges again but you are going to rise up as a God as a son of the most high and a seat on your throne 
and a dominator in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Esau. Because of doing nothing about the intentions of the father for him being the firstborn because of being lazy because of being insensitive see what happened in Genesis chapter 36 and verse 40 look at the word of God the Bible says and these were the names of the chief chiefs of the south according to their families and their places by their names chief Timna chief Alva chief Jethar chief Aholiama chief Ella chief Pinon chief Ken Kenaz chief Taman chief Mibza chief Mag uh, Magdal and the chief Iram. The Bible says these were the chiefs of Edom. Another name for Esau was Edom. According to their dwelling place in the land of their possession. Esau was the father Edomites. Now, Edomites were enemies of God. And Esau became an alien in the kingdom of God. Niadui. He became like a visitor in the kingdom of God. You can see he was the father of Edomites. I want to show you. Let's go to the first verses of chapter 36. The Bible says, now this is the genealogy of Esau. I want you to see these are chiefs. These are chiefs. But I want you to see they were from which tribe. Esau took his wife from the daughters of Canaan, Ada the daughter of Elon, and the Etites, a holy Bama, the daughter of Anna, and daughter of Zebion, the Evite, mm -hmm. and Beshma Ismael's, a daughter, Ismael's daughter, sister of Nebajoth. So you'll notice that this man his family married the enemies of the of the of the children of God. When they were going to occupy their land, they were told that they will find the Hivites. Exodus chapter 3. I think from verse 7. Let's see what it says. When God is saying he's going to deliver the children of Israel. Exodus 3 7. And the Lord said, Surely I've seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard the cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrow. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egyptians and bring them up from the land to from that land to a good and large land to the land flowing with milk and honey to the place of Canaanites and the Hittites and the Hamorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and Jebusites. Now these are descendants. Of a sow. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Let's go to Amos 1 verse 11. It is not only marrying Hittite, Hivite, Canaanites and Ismaelites. It is not only becoming, you know, Edomites becoming his descendants. Edomites became also the enemies of God. Thus says the Lord, for the three transgressions of Edom, when you see Edom, that is a sow. For four, and for four, I will not turn away its punishment because he pursued his brother with a sword and a cast off all pity, his anger tore perpetually and he kept his wrath forever but I will send a fire upon Taman which shall devour the palaces of Besra hallelujah Amen. you can see how Esau ended to become marrying people who are not in the line of God becoming the enemy of God because God said he vowed to kill uh, Jacob and so the Lord said he will pursue him and he will not turn away from it from the punishment now we have people who are already living there you are meant to be great but right now the kind of marriage you are in you are supposed to be blessed but right now the engagements you are in the kind of people surrounding you do not show greatness this Sunday will be a Sunday of restoration and Jehovah God shall have mercy on you and you are going to get wisdom to come out of that bondage I say you will come out of that bondage hallelujah and you will get into a different level where you will be favored of God where you will be favored of God it is one thing that I believe in God restoration it doesn't matter what teachers did in your life the Lord will restore you it doesn't matter what your friends did to your life the Lord of heavens will restore you hallelujah so how do you get that restoration we can check the things that a sow assumed we are going to check the things that a sow took for granted we are going to check the things that a sow did not see the life a sow chose to live in and we are going to withdraw and deal with issues that we are supposed to deal with hallelujah and before Wednesday comes there is going to be an explosion on this altar I say there is going to be an explosion on this altar I'm going to teach today and tomorrow every evening up to Wednesday as we pray and fast with this assembly I'm telling you there is going to be miracles in our lives and a great breakthroughs in the name of Jesus what did Esau assume number one 
Esau assumed his history. Hallelujah. Esau assumed his history. Hallelujah. Let's read Genesis 25. From verse 21. The Bible says. Now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord granted his plea and Rebecca his wife conceived but the children struggled together within her and as she said if all is well why am I like this so she went to inquire of the Lord and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in your womb. Two people shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other. And the older shall serve the younger. So when her days were fulfilled for her to give birth, indeed, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red. And he was like hairy garment all over. So they called his name Esau. After his brother came out, uh, afterwards his brother came out and his hand took hold of his Esau's, his Esau's heel so his name was called Jacob Esau was 60 years old when she bore them hallelujah, hallelujah. praise the Lord this history Esau never consulted it because when you look at this history there are things that you need to stop hunting. Kuwinda. No, there are, you need to stop hunting. Hunting. And they concentrate on these things. Hunting may not give you anything. Oh, you are not with me today. I desire you come faster. Esau was a hunter. Even in the day of his breakthrough. He was kept busy hunting. And by the time he turned his head. Something had already happened. Was he told? Is it in the Bible? But he never inquired. And if he inquired, he ignored. This he ignored. But today, we shall look around. And we are going to turn around some stones. We will not assume them. Because we may continue hunting. And we may find a breakthrough as God. We may continue in school. But we find the blessing has gone. We may continue planning wedding. But we find the blessing has gone. What happened in his history? The Bible says. His father got married. When he was 40 years. But by the time his son was getting born. It was 20 years. The spirit of barrenness bound his mother for 20 years until the father committed himself in intercessory and it turned around the life of Rebecca today I want you to check around what has started in your family are you hearing what I'm saying? May we get somebody who can ask what happened before I was born. You just you just check around what happened. Some of you don't know why I preach like a madman. Before I was born about four people died in our family and when i was born they knew i will also die that is why one of my brothers 
who is not alive today was called Maundu. And then I was called Mainge. I inquired where the name came from. Some of you, you need to go back to your grandfather and they ask why was I called Mutula. Mutula ni kuhata. Why was I called Madina? Why was I called Mureu? And I was not drunk. Why was I called, sir? I mean, I inquired. And so some of the things I do is because I have my background. We read a scripture that said you, you are, you are beginning may be small but your end shall be great and the same scripture says in verse 8 I mean in the next verse hallelujah that is verse 7 when you go to verse 8 that is Job chapter 8 Job chapter 8 for inquire please of the former age and consider the things discovered. He saw never dealt with barrenness. What else happened in his background? During the days of his birth, the mother had a struggle. She had a discomfort. And she went to ask of the Lord what is happening and as she was told inside you are two nations and the two people will be separate and the people one will be stronger than the other and the older is there anybody here and the older shall serve Esau did not consider that a word came that you will serve your young brother. You are the one who came first. You are the one who was born first. You are the one who got educated first. You are the one who finished university first. But there is a word you will serve your young brother my friend you need to check around your background do nothing you do nothing you are supposed to go home with good tidings but you go home and the people contribute to give you fare back to town because there are things you have never considered they must be broken this week I say they must be broken this week yes, how? he was given story probably before you were while you were being born while you were being born do like this while you were being born your brother came holding your heel your brother came holding your heel it was significant that whatever you have he will grab it from you those who have ever given birth to twins or with nasty twins being born even if they are born naturally no one comes out holding the other the first one comes and the other one comes in the you janja ilianza kitambo na unazubatu unazubatu and you are being told the way you were born and you are saying the blood of Jesus is over my life 
yote alibeba kalivari utajua ni yake alibeba yako utabeba something abnormal happened when he was being born and he just sat without caring <laughs> man have you seen people who there are so many signs that they may not make it in life in their lives there are so many signs which are we can see that one may not succeed and then somebody is doing nothing 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 the spirit of the soul may be broken today will be broken today in the name of Jesus what else happened the Lord revealed of that action and he spoke you will serve the younger will serve the, the, the older will serve the younger Unasikia Mungu alisema na ufahamu chochote. Isaiah was told by the Lord. Ezekiel was told by the Lord. Through a prophet. You will die. Prepare yourself. But he refused to die. He did something. The Bible says he turned to the wall and he told the Lord no look at my track record I don't deserve to live now hallelujah hallelujah maybe you are here and right now as I'm preaching you are also thinking about your older brother you are also thinking about your older sister you are thinking about your husband who is supposed to be the head and you are saying pastor God needs to visit this man or this woman let me tell you it is possible hallelujah to be the guide but when she died those who knew her they disagreed with the death they said it cannot be now we have to do something let's go to the man of God and they show them what show him what she has been doing to us and when they did that Tabitha raised again I want to encourage you brethren this week is the week of prayer and the fasting what is prayer and the fasting it is doing something about what has been happening around you somebody say yes i say somebody say yes in the book of first chronicles chapter 4 and verse 9 the bible talks of a young man called jabez have you heard the story of jabez the bible says now jabez was more honorable than his brothers and his mother was called his mother called his name Jabez saying because I bore him in pain and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territories that you and would be with me and that you would keep me from evil and that I may not cause pain so God granted him what 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 not what he desired not what he wished not what he deserved not what people wanted him to have but what he asked what he prayed what he requested you do not have 
you do not have because you don't ask may you ask this week this young man was born and he noticed other children have good names they are called victory they are called uh, 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 angaza they are called praise they are called uh, uh, baraka they are called good names and he noticed his name is a funny name Dambas, I mean Jabez. <laughs> he felt this one is funny. So, so he inquired. He went to the mother. Why am I called Jambaz? I mean, why am I called Jambez? And he was told what happened. I went through terrible times. It was painful. So I called you so so that when I call you I remember that pain. You are a memorial of pain. When he got that information the young man told mama thank you you did what you thought was best let me also do what I think is best and he went and called upon the Lord the man said change my situation let there be no pain in my life let there be blessing over my life give me bigger territories and the bible says the lord granted him may he grant you i say may he grant you did jacob do something after he held the heel of his brother and he was called jacob meaning a struggler meaning a con man <laughs> meaning you will get everything by sweat do you know that is curse of adam that by sweat you will get things and when he got that history the bible says in genesis 32 and the verse 22 and that night uh, he arose that night and took his two wives and his two female servants and his eleven sons and he crossed over the vault of Jabbok and he took them and sent them over to the brook and sent them over what he heard then Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak when now he saw that it did not prevail against him he touched the socket of his hip and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him and he said let me go for the day breaks but he said I will not let you go unless you bless me so he said to him what is your name he said they called me Jacob and the angel said your name shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel for you have struggled with God and with man and have prevailed somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah say my name is changing, my name is changing. I say shout my name is changing my my situation is changing. He never accepted what they called him. When he left his brother and he hid at his uncle's place, a time came for him to marry. He took seven years to get the wrong wife. You didn't hear what I said. And it took him seven years to get the wrong wife and for him to get the right one. And it took him 14 years 
he felt this is abnormal I don't know my friends whether you have known some of these things you are going through are not of princess are not of sons of the king they are abnormal Sijui kama ni mimi peke yangu ama nina watu wengine hapa unakanga una feel these are not normal things This is not normal I say this is not normal For that salary for 10 years it is not normal ah, This is not normal Something needs to be turned around Don't be quiet the Lord who changed the name of Sarai to Sarah, he will change you today. The God who changed the name of Abram to Abraham, he will change you today. When you read the patriarchs, the fathers of faith, when you read about the patriarchs, you will notice their names were changed. But Esau's name was not changed. He's one of the people who are not changed. And that is why he became an enemy of God. Hallelujah. So one of the things that man, this man lived in. It is the baggages of his history. The other life that cost him all this is a man who walked in the flesh controlled by the passions of life he walked in the flesh under the control of passions of life the bible says seek ye the kingdom of God first and all other things will be added unto you why? Because even the events are running up and down to get those things that you are also running after. Let's read Genesis 25 and verse number 29. Let's see what the Bible says here. I wish you can look for it in Swahili or a simpler translation. Uh, we can enjoy ourselves reading the word of God. Or even Kikamba or Kimeru. Hallelujah. Siku moja Yakobo alikuwa anapika nengu. Oh, this Swahili not Kikamba. <laughs> nengu. <laughs> Kadufu. <laughs> Esau alirudi nyumbani kutoka mawindoni. Ananja mbaya. Esau akamwambia Yakobo tafadhali, unipe hicho chakula chekundu nile kwa kuwa ninazimia mimi. Kwa hiyo walimwita jina lake Edom. Mambo ikaanza kubadilika. Yakobo akamwambia Kwanza niulize leo, niulizie leo. Niuzie leo haki yako ya mzaliwa wa kwanza. Esau akasema, "Tanzama, mimi karibu kufa bana. Itanifaa nini haki hii ya uzazi?" Yakobo akamwambia, "Unipe kwanza. Uniapie kwanza, thank you." Naye akamwapia akamuzia Yakobo haki yake ya mzaliwa wa kwanza Yakobo akampa Esau mkate na chakula cha ndengu naye e akamongezea hata mkate naye akanywa akala akanywa kisha akaondoka akaenda zake Esau akaidharau haki yake now I want you to notice the repercussions that came to the life of Esau did not just happen. They started somewhere, thank you. And he assumed. Yes. He assumed. 
ya sio mtu aliyakuza he walked in the flesh he has come from his kuwinda he has not even he is supposed to have eaten meat but is he asking for ndengu and a bread and he is supposed to eat meat hunters eat meat they roast meat this hunting of his looks like a hobby it's not a serious occupation it has no returns haina matokeo haina marupurupu so he walked in the flesh you say my friend the more you walk in the flesh and passions of this life you lose you are privilege as a firstborn you lose you lose your breakthrough he walked in the flesh you want people to attend to your feelings because he said you have to give me food very fast i'm going to die oh. i will faint here and you will tell people i told you attend to my issues before i die one meal some of you have never fasted if you fast you feel <laughs> you feel like kuzimia <laughs> He said ukicheza nitazimia. Nisaidie kwanza. The people who always want to be attended to their physic physic physical feelings. You don't have spiritual uh, levels. You've never gone to spiritual dimensions. Always your argument are carnal. God help you today. I say God help you today. Yesterday I read to us a scripture that says the spiritual things are spiritually desired. Spiritual things are not taught in school. Mambo ya kiroho hayafundishwi shuleni. Are not taught in leadership class. Hayafundishwi katika madarasa ama vilas classes za you always get to know what we are operating in and you jump in and swim but when you want to stop us to handle your feelings you may lose your destiny leaders stop walking in the flesh and the feelings you don't feel like you don't feel like you feel like get out of that nonsense and get into spirituality where you are able to grasp things the hidden things of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah Oh my God. Let me say another one. Number three. Something else that he assumed. Esa was ignorant on the life of honor. Or about the life of honor. Esa alipuza maisha ya kuheshimiwa ama kuheshimika. Kuheshimu. Maisha ya kuheshimu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Some of you the level you are in right now. You need to know that you are limited as human being. Unapaswa kujua kwamba kama mwanadamu umezuiwa, una mipaka ama umekwa mipaka. 
I want you to pay a lot of attention because I want now on this point to declare a new season. Nataka mwe makini sasa mana katika point hii nataka kutangaza majira mapia. You need to know unapaswa ujue as human beings kama wanadamu naturally kawaida we are limited tuna mipaka but when we gave our lives to Jesus tunapopeana maisha yetu kwa Yesu we climb to another level huwa tunapanda katika kiwango kingine the level of Psalm 82:6 kiwango cha Zaburi 82 verse 6 the 82 we climb to that level we stop being limited because of the lord but how do we activate these levels because you need to get the favor of god why do you need favor? It's because naturally you are limited. There are places you cannot access. There are things you need but you cannot have. They are with some people. You may not even like the people. So you need favor. And how do you access to favor? It is something called honor. I say it is something called honor. A season will always come majira kila wakati yatakuja for you to be favored ya wewe kukupendelewa just like the way i'm feeling in the spirit kama jinsi ninavyohisi katika roho that our, our season to be favored is now ya kwamba wakati wetu wa kukubalika na kupendelewa ni sasa season of favor is now wakati wetu wa kukubalika ni sasa i say our season is favor for for favor is now wakati wetu wa kupendelewa ni sasa may the lord open doors for you bwana aka May you access to places you have tried to access before and it has been impossible. May you be called by people that you never expected them to call you in this season. May you be sought for even by people you have never seen in the name of the Lord. I feel in the spirit our season of favor has come. As I was preparing this message, the Lord confirmed in diverse ways that we will not struggle again in the mighty name of Jesus. As a ministry, we will not struggle again. As a family, you will not struggle again. In your business, you will not struggle again. You are going to be favored of the Lord. I decree favor from the altar today upon your life in the name of Jesus, upon your family in the name of Jesus. The curse of struggle, the curse of struggle must be broken in the name of Jesus. Receive a breakthrough. I say receive a breakthrough. The season is changing your body feelings. You have visited the doctor the whole year. I decree favor on your life. You will visit no more. Somebody will attend to the real problem of your body. In the name of Jesus. Is there somebody receiving our report today? And so I declare a new season of 
favor majira mapya ya kibali a new season of favor majira mapya ya kibali receive favor pokea kibali i say receive favor asema pokea kibali receive favor pokea kibali hallelujah hallelujah we have been noticed tumetambulika we have been renewed our strength tumefanyiwa upya nguvu zetu and now na sasa enter into god's favor ya katika kibali cha Mungu Jesus needed favor Yesu alihitaji kibali with God and man na utakuwa Mungu na wanadamu How much more do you need favor Leo wewe unahitaji kibali kiasi gani You need more favor Unahitaji kibali You don't have to struggle on every little thing Hauhitaji ungangane hata kwa vitu vidogo You don't have to struggle to fly out of the country Hauhitaji kungangana kwenda nje You don't have to struggle to get automobile Hauhitaji kungangana kupata gari You don't need to struggle to get clothing Hauhitaji kungangana kupata mavazi May God send you destiny helpers Bwana kutumie wasaidizi wako May God send you people who will help you Bwana kutumie watu watakao kusaidia In the name of Jesus Kwa jina la Yesu Receive in the name of the Lord Pokea kwa jina la Yesu I say receive in the name of the Lord Pokea kwa jina la Yesu I say receive in the name of the Lord Pokea kwa jina la Yesu Is that how you receive Why don't you lift up your both hands? And shout favor is my portion. Favor is my portion. I say shout favor is my portion. Favor is my portion. Shout favor is my portion. Favor is my portion. Shout favor is my portion. Favor is my portion. There are people kuna watu because of their signature. Kwa sababu ya sahihi Those who open for you. Milango itakufungukia. Because of their letterhead kwa sababu ya kichwa cha 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 barua breakthroughs will be your portion na penye utakao kuwa na may the lord send those people to you na kutumia hao watu sasa i say may the lord send those people to you na bwana akakutumia hao ride on a different level of grace inuka katika viwango vya neema whatever you are struggling with sote kile unachongangana there are people who are not struggling kuna watu hawangangani must you struggle forever je ni lazima ungangana ni let the anointing today let you back of siku ya leo break every barrier ukavunja viswizu i feel in the spirit ina hisi katika roho darkness has to give way giza lazima yondoke darkness has to give way lazima giza yondoke jesus is light yesu ni mwanga may he show over your life akangaze juu ya maisha yako that you can be noticed ili uweze kutambulika in the name of Jesus Jesus Yesu In the name of Jesus Jesus Yesu Shaka da ba hande ba shaka I pray that favor will be my portion I pray that favor will be my portion Katika niwe nafasi yangu Favor will be my portion Kibali ndio nafasi yangu The same thing you are doing. Hiyo kazi unaoendelea kufanya. And you are given 10,000. Na unapewa 10,000. Somebody else is doing the same thing. Kuna mtu anafanya kazi hiyo hiyo. And is getting a million. Na anapokea milioni. Something has to change. Lazima kitu kibadilike sasa. The kind of people surrounding you have to change. Aina ya watu ambao wanakuzingira lazima wabadilike. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Oh my god. My god. Thank you Holy Ghost. Father let them be witnesses of this. Baba wacha wakawashahidi wa haya. Let them testify of your word. Wacha wakashuhudie neno lako. If I be your servant. Wapo mimi ni mtumishi wako. Let it be manifested in the name of Jesus. Sikadhirike kwa jina la Yesu. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down I show you something. Ketini kidogo niwanyeshe jambo. Esau 
Esau was too ignorant sana about honor. His father told him, Baba yake alimwambia, Go and prepare something for me. Enda ukaniandalie kitu nile that I love kile ambacho napenda so that I can bless you. Ili niweze kukubariki. Oh my God. Eh Mungu wangu. Because blessings or favor comes to you through people. Maana kibali huwa kinakujia kupitia watu. God will bless you through people. Mungu atakubariki kupitia watu. He brings his blessings to men and men gives them to men. Huwa analeta baraka zake kwa watu na watu wanapatia watu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he tells him just go and get something for Sasa, me. Sasa akamwambia enda uniandalie chakula. You see friends, I was looking at him when he was dying for food. Nilikuwa na for soup. Nilikuwa na mwangalia wa wakati anangangania ama anaomba soup. He's crying for soup and a piece of bread. Anaomba ama anakufa ili apate a soup. Hunter, a hunter, a hunter, mwindaji. Jesus. That tells me he was not a serious man. Inamaanisha kwamba hakuwa mtu wa kumaanisha. It took him too long ili mgaribu muda mrefu to bring it ili aweze kuleta chakula. And then because he never considered his history na kwa sababu hakushughulikia ama hakuangalia historia because it, if it were me maana kama ingekuwa mimi to go and bring something niambiwe enda unilete because it, now sasa i want to free your life nataka kufungua maisha yako and then catapult you to your destiny na nikurushe katika hatima yako mimi nani hmm. who am i ningekuwa namwambia yakobo mm-hmm. nipeleke take me ah, i lost you again nimewapoteza <laughs> tena <laughs> <laughs> Unaweza acha paka ikikulindia maziwa? Hau. Eh? Unaacha acha fisi ikikulinda nyama? Can't happen. Niliambiwa utanyenyanganya na wakati umefika ni kuprove wrong. Nipeleke. Ama Yakobo kwanza na mama yake waende nje na gate ifungwe na askari akae mlangoni. Nikalete nyama. consider what I was told about him. Niliambiwa kuhusu mtu huyu. And look at this man. Naangalia mtu huyu. He has seen it already happening. Ameona tayari inafanyika. When he wanted food. Wakati alitaka chakula. He was told it cannot be given to him. Ameambiwa kwamba siwezi ni Unless he sells his birthright. Hadi uniuzie urithi wako. Are you seeing that? Umeona hiyo? In chapter 25. Katika mlango wa 20. And now it is in chapter 27. Na katika mlango wa 20. When he is supposed to be blessed. Ambapo anapaswa kubarikiwa. And the mistakes that he did. Na ile makosa gets cancelled imekatwa hata kama kijana alisema even if the boy said atakunyang'anya enda uniletee chakula go and get good meat wone vile nitabadilisha maneno ya kijana i'm going to change the situation vijana sio mkubwa kuniliko he's not bigger than me hona heshima saya hona majira you don't allow somebody else to hona you don't allow another person before you do it kabla wewe uifanye ash mhm you don't allow this one to hona usiruhusu huyu when you are asleep wakati umelala you wake up inuka before he wakes up kabla yeye ayo you move fast uende kwa upendo you keep on sending people ukae ukituma watu daddy i'm still coming mwambie baba bado nakuja go and tell him i've just gotten the animal enda mwambie tayari nimepata to wait for me and the superior sign of honor majira ya kuheshimu Some of you have taken even 10 years. You've never honored your father. You've never honored your in-law. You've never honored your pastor. It is honor that gives you favor. Oh my God. During the week I'll be giving you so many testimonies. Katikati wiki nitakuwa napatia shuhuda nyingi sana. 
of my age mates who don't struggle I came to notice just the other day it is at the level of honor that's where we missed we missed each other wale wali honor them they went and honored they are moving like this wanaenda kwa kasi wale hawako honor for them who did not honor they are going backwards wanarudi nyuma favor does not just come kibali huwa hatiji tu i think the definition messed you nafikiria utafsiri umewa of the dictionary ama kamusi it is unmerited and deserved merit isiyo itajika ama isiyo kubalika who about how is tahil usiyo tahil yes and deserved merit eh isiyo tahil so because of that you always feel i i don't deserve unasema hata mimi si tahil kama ni mapenzi ya mungu nitakuja kuinuka kwa tu the will of god i'm going to rise you have never known it is the will of god up today how do you want to leo ni mapenzi ya mungu utakaka <laughs> hona heshima it helps you to access very fast inakusaidia kuweza kupokea kwa ukasi ama kwa haraka how do you honor god je utamheshimu mungu how do you honor man unaheshimu wanadamu how aje One day you need to carry a gift to your boss. Siku moja unapaswa ubebe zawadi mpelekee boss wako. Wacha hivyo unamtuka nanga ukamunamuitanga farao. You need <laughs> In the morning we got to know people who are being called farao. Niweza kutakuwa siku hii wale watu ambao huwa anaitwa farao. You need to honor your farao. Unapaswa uheshimu huyo farao wako. One day siku moja amka asubuhi go and buy a souvenir and ununue jambo ambalo una nice thing that you need you know he treasures kitu ambacho unajua you don't even pen. talk to him hata usimuongelee let the secretary know wacha yule you are mo- coming to see mo- your mo- boss nimekuja kuona boss and you just come and say boss now sije useme boss i have just been enjoying the privilege you've given us to be in this place serving under you has been a privilege i came to celebrate you my boss i was taught in church to honor pharaohs no don't use the name pharaoh unless you are foolish <laughs> And you just give him the gift. But ile zawadi. Some might be very arrogant. Wengine wao wanaweza kuwa ni si watu wazuri. They may say just put it there. Wataeka wataweka hapo. Asante. But let me tell you it's a statement. Lakini wacha nikwambia kwamba hiyo ni it is a statement. Hiyo ni ujumbe. The next promotion. A promotion if what might be yours. Naweza kuwa ni yako. There is no authority. Hakuna mamlaka. That is not set by God. Ambayo hajawekwa na Mungu. Hona heshima. When you look at the way Esau behaved during this day. Unapoangalia jinsi Esau alivyoendelea. He never knew what that day was holding for him. Hakujua hiyo siku imebeba nini kwa ajili. Let me say the last one in my notes very fast. Wacha niseme ya mwisho katika notes zangu kwa. Esau lived in bitterness. Esau aliishi katika machungu. Do you want favor? Je unataka kibali avoid bitterness epukana na machungu avoid bitterness epukana na machungu overcome bitterness shinda machungu the bible says in chapter 27 verse 41 binasema katika mlango wa 27 mstari wa kwanza it says this inasema hivi and uh, so Esau hated his brother Jacob because of the blessings which His father blessed him and as how said to his f- heart the day of mourning for my father are the days of mourning for my father are at hand then i will kill my brother he lived in bitterness aliishi maisha ya uchungu even if your parents favored 
you are siblings and they don't favor you remain a man or woman of honor and avoid bitterness overcome bitterness Cain lived in a life of bitterness and he was out to kill his brother to Abel which he executed he lived a cursed life what does the bible say in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with, with all malice praise the lord hallelujah and be kind to one another tender hearted forgiving one another even as god in christ forgave you stop having bitterness with people you will not experience breakthroughs and favor when you are living in bitterness stop having a tough face on people and so lived in bitterness and now we see the end results chapter 36 they were told not to marry Canaanites not to marry Hittites not to marry he Hivites not to marry Ishmaelites and these are the people how and the what is chiefs married um, uh, and they became enemies of God Endomites you need to come out of that group and enter into the favor of God this is a season of your favor and by the anointing upon my life and the prophetic grace upon me over you I cancel every struggle and as you practice the word of God you are entering into a season of favor Oh, my God.